Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report sponsored by TaxBuddy.com. Uh, I'm in Dubai now, so uh, that's why it's an audio recording. So I'm not able to do a video recording. Uh, maybe for another few days, it, this may go on like this. So because of my conference in Dubai. Over the weekend, there was a very strong rumor uh, that, you know, China president was under house arrest and this and that. And I already stated in the uh, Dalal Siddhika Head program, and uh, also uh, I've seen such news only in Indian media. Uh, even the media also, they did not want to take any responsibility. They just say, saying, you know, okay, social media says like this and this and that. But social media, anybody can start, anybody can do anything, right? And at the end of the day, nobody takes the responsibility for the news. Uh, except India, uh, no other country uh, has reported any such news and uh, there are some people you know in fact who are uh, staying in Beijing they actually went out and took some photos and posted it you know there was no such thing so you know also you know if any such thing happens uh, like you know over the weekend uh, Hong Kong future Germany future and US futures are trading during the weekends, they would have crashed, but they did not happen. So surprisingly, today morning I check, uh, the China markets are trading in green, and even the Hong Kong market is also trading in green. Of course, they are not, uh, you know, very big, but you know, it's a flat to positive, we can say. So the first thing is that, you know, so such rumors are, you know, uh, they are just rumors, there is no uh, substance in it. And, uh, but even otherwise also the worldwide markets are very bearish on friday us markets uh, hit uh, fresh 52 week low and uh, friday uh, japan market was closed so today when japan market opened so they opened significantly lower and uh, you know uh, like other markets are also following uh, say for example taiwan is down two percent you know taiwan south korea they are all like falling like anything so the sentiment is uh, really very very bearish even uh, us futures are also uh, uh, slightly lower so uh, the things are you know markets are just struggling to find the bottom the economic news that is coming so it, it seems that you know us will be definitely going into recession so things are not really looking very good and SGX Nifty, you know, on Friday night when the US markets fell, SGX Nifty went to 17,100, nearer to 17,100. But now it is trading 17,200 plus, so which is 100 point gap down. I think considering the global queues, uh, you know, South Korea falling 2%, Taiwan falling 2%, I think, uh, you know, our market is uh, not really very bad. So 100 point, you know, is just a half a percent or three fourth of a percent so that is looking still okay crude oil seems to have crashed so much uh, on friday at night i saw it was trading around 86 87 dollar now it is uh, even more 85 dollars and the us dollar index uh, dollar index i saw on friday night it was 112 now it is 113 it seems that uh, you know uh, things are not looking good anywhere and uh, I don't know how much this uh, US currency is going to appreciate against uh, other currencies so all other currencies are falling and uh, we have already fallen you know Indian rupee uh, more than 81 rupees per dollar on Friday in fact that is what has created the panic and that is why the uh, Indian markets fell so much on Friday so definitely, uh, you know, today morning, you have to see where the rupee opens. Uh, on Friday, so it seems that RBI has intervened and uh, so they stabilized the rupee market. But uh, RBI uh, cannot support uh, rupee for a long term. That's because, you know, in the process of uh, uh, stabilizing the rupee, so their foreign reserves is keep going down. Uh, so they will be you know looking other ways to uh, support the rupee uh, mainly by raising the interest rate 
So on Wednesday, RBA policy is there. So I'm sure they will raise the interest rate at least by 50 basis point. So that is the only way they can control. But from now to Wednesday, again, you know, so this rupee movement will create some trouble. Uh, crude oil falling is actually good for us, but the problem is that, you know, so though crude oil is trading around $85 and because, you know, uh, crude oil is trading in US dollar and US dollar has appreciated more than 10, 12 percent uh, against Indian currency. So indirectly, you know, so we are still paying higher price for crude oil. So therefore, you know, crude oil falling one dollar, two dollar, no, I don't think that we can be uh, very happy. So the problem will continue. So now FAs have started selling, but uh, their selling was not really very big. But only thing is that uh, month to date, that means in the September, so their net uh, has become negative. Uh, it looks like uh, markets should consolidate between 17,000 and 17,500 and probably with a negative bias. But then here and there, there may be some intraday short covering may come. Uh, but overall picture uh, actually does not look uh, really very good. And I think even from Friday, uh, even from Twitter, I've been warning. So it is time to be cautious on the long side. So the things are not really looking very good. So US markets will have to stabilize at least for one day. On Friday, there was no economic news, there was nothing, but still US markets at some point of time, you know, fell 2.5 to 3%. So the panic is there. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.